What's good everyone, you dig, 4 eyes, 2 G's here, and today we're here to talk about Denzel Curry, and today I wanted to discuss why he hasn't blown up yet. And like I said in my short piece on him in my other video, in one sense Denzel has blown up and no longer exists just in the underground, but you definitely cannot say that he's been able to make that mainstream crossover, as despite his success, neither of his biggest songs have been able to gain mainstream traction as is yet to chart on the Billboard Hot 100, and in this video I wanted to look at why. And let's firstly discuss Ultimate and Clout Cobain, and these two tracks have been Denzel's biggest by far, and are probably his closest things to what you could call a hit. But in these cases, he was kind of unlucky, because although they blew up on the internet, what they weren't able to do, and what most first hits do for an artist, is take this new face, this new rapper, and cross them over to the public, and really take their movement to the next level. Think Cardi and Magnolia, or Travis and Antidote. Sure, Ultimate had that meme power stimulus where everybody was hearing it, but the meme didn't really elevate it to that pop level like we've seen memes do for other songs in the past. It didn't chart, and those larger audiences that listened to the song didn't really look for Denzel past this track, and that's namely due to the nature of the song. It's an amazing track and made for a great meme, but the song was so raw with its aggressive flows, lack of melody, and the banging production, so it had close to zero mainstream potential, so that was really the key reason as to why the song didn't cross over in my opinion. And before we go on, if you haven't yet, it would be appreciated if you could hit that like button. Also subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Follow me on all social medias as well so you keep up to date and turn on those notifications so you don't miss a video. Also, I'm curious to know what everyone's favorite Denzel Curry song is. Personally for me, I think one of his most underrated songs is Danny Cascade off of N64, but getting back to it. And moving on from Ultimate, I'd say it's a pretty similar case for Cloud Cobain, but just for different reasons. Although the song has a nice, chill, low-key trap instrumental and a cool melody, the theme of the song, in tandem with the motifs in the visuals, portrayed a conscious message that almost took an anti-pop rap culture stance and highlighted the perils of fame and success, which basically meant that it would never really catch on in the public because it's not a pop-friendly theme and it's talking down to that audience in a way. And I'm not taking away from the song either because it's a well-executed track and the video is stellar as as well. And that's kind of the unfortunate thing so far for Denzel. Ultimate and Cloud Cobain, although they have been great tracks and deserve to be as big as they are, and then some, they just haven't had that mainstream crossover potential. So I think that's kind of held him back from blowing up all the way. Furthermore, looking deeper than this, Denzel really hasn't tried to branch out and look for cosigns to help make him go to that extra level. I feel like in 2018, there are so many avenues and ways for people to get cosigns to help make them blow. And it's more than just rappers that are bigger than you. There's people like Adam22, or Cole Bennett, or legions of YouTubers that can help make a career go on their own. However, Denzel hasn't really decided to play that game, and for the most part, stays pretty much to himself. One moment that does spring to mind was Rick Ross on Imperial, but that was only for that one song. And other than that, he doesn't really collaborate often, and if he does, it's normally with underground artists that are around the same level, if not smaller. Again, this isn't a knock against Denzel, because it's good that he doesn't need to ride the coattails of other success to have success of his own, but it does play into why we haven't seen him explode like that yet. Honestly though, when you take a look at the trajectory of Denzel Curry, it's not a bad thing that he hasn't been able to have that explosive ascent in the mainstream, because throughout his career, he has constantly been elevating and building. Of course, he started out the gate with threats and N64 that really put him on the map, but then Ultimate came along, went viral and elevated him to another level. Then this year, Cloud Cobain and Taboo were stepping stones to keep growing, and even though it's been a long grind, what he is establishing is a core audience, and I think his transition to the mainstream, if it ever happens, is one of those processes that will come naturally with the right song. Another point to consider is that he hasn't signed to a major label, and I've said this multiple times, but majors really do help with the transition to the mainstream, and although it's not like there's some magical cheat code to explode in, they do help, but what Denzel has built for himself so far is a solid foundation of core fans, so that means if he does eventually cross 
cross over, even if it's only one or two songs, he does have that solid foundation of fans to fall back on, even if he doesn't last long in the mainstream. And lastly, getting back to his music, as I said, Denzel doesn't really make mainstream friendly tracks, and although with albums like Imperial he started to incorporate more melodies, it's a stretch to call his music that radio friendly. So that's why I say his crossover isn't one that's inevitable, but if he does, I don't think it'll be forced by a label or something like that, and it'll be one of those cases where he just catches the right song. And that's all from me today, guys. Thanks a lot for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't yet, please make sure to like, and also subscribe to my channel if you aren't. Also, make sure to follow your boy in all social medias, turn on notifications so you don't miss a video, and comment your favorite Denzel Curry song in the comments below.